Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland Extra Mode. In the last episode, we began the game off. We went to our first area here in Cookie Country as again our adventure to find Megalore's part ship parts. I said part ships, and I was like, yeah, it's part. It's, uh, it's obviously a ship. And I mean, I just, I'm just I'm derping around too much in these little overworlds. I wish we in the stage, but just like. You know what's really cool? The little fire effects. Look at the background. That's just so neat. I just love the little details that put into these games. Alright, stage two. Here we go. Ba -ba -da -boop. Ooh, so. A new ability introduced in Kirby's Return to Dreamlands. Leaf! It's time to dance! The leaf dance creates a gorgeous swirl of Rager as Leaf. Press A to garden, huh? You're gone! Leaf attack, leaf swirl, leaf scatter, leaf dance, leaf hide, leaf uppercut, leaf rain. Another little cool thing I like to add in this game is you can hold abilities like this. That's really neat. It's also cool to do this in multiplayer modes. You can just like a friend an ability or something, or you can just throw them. So leaf is pretty awesome. You need to kind of really know how to use it, but because like it's, it seems kind of like eh. But this move is broken. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, you'd be like, hi there. I'm not here. Surprise! Oh, bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> I also just love how bouncy this music is. This track's so good. This is using the trailer for this game when it was first announced at E3 or 2011. It wasn't really announced there. They just kind of had a video of it. You want to talk about disappointing E3s? E3 2011, a oh man. It's like, oh yeah! Let's talk about all the Zelda stuff and not talk about any of these other games we have coming out, apparently. Sorry. Being a Kirby fan and seeing two Kirby games you get snubbed about talking about at a press conference does get me a little, sometimes, a little... A little something. There's a moon in the background! I didn't notice that before! That's so cool! <sighs> KV is easily distracted by silly things, and silly and simple and cool things, so... I like- that's a really neat detail, because that moon... That's like the moon they had in the original Kirby Streamlands. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm not trying to be mean about the E3. It was still- it was still a pretty good show, all things considered. I was just kind of hoping they would show more of, uh, Kirby stuff. So what's neat about Leaf is it actually works as a bit of a cutter ability as well. There was cutter ability back there, and we'll get it at a later time when we actually need it. I'll showcase Leaf off for a little bit, because Leaf is just a fun ability, and I think I kind of snubbed it a bit in, uh... in, uh, Triple Deluxe. Partially because I was so impressed with the new abilities, because Triple Deluxe introduced some great new abilities that, uh, I'm going to sadly miss in this game. But there are some abilities that did not go into Triple Deluxe for whatever reason, so we'll get to see those in this game as well. I hope the my friends out there are watching, because you know, you know what I, the ability I'm talking about, the one that's in uh, World Stage 3. You know, we used to do it all the time we are playing this game. I'm speaking to like just a very few people, but uh, leave a comment below if you know what I'm talking about. It has to do with a certain religious figure that likes to have domain over the ocean. We'll get to that when we get to that. <laughs> It'll make sense in time, I assure you. <laughs> these little sections here with these little can things, I do like them. They are a bit of a pain sometimes, because these cans can be quite obnoxious, especially in multiplayer. But knowing how to use them properly th can lead you very good results. And it's also good to destroy those, but those can be destroyed by hammer, so... If you want to cheat the game, have a second controller with you at all times, and just spawn DDD. Because literally, DDD can get pretty much anything you need out of. And we might be doing that in later areas, just because things can get kind of annoying. I forgot, this game really, really likes to pile the abilities at you really fast. Eh, we'll showcase off Needle. Why not? He has a cool hat. Prick your foes with a thorny jab, really stick it to them, or roll from a dash to bring him playing with the rolling needle. We have the needle attack, needle burst, which is pretty cool, I do like that one. Rolling needle, mega needle, and that's it. Needle is not super in-depth, but I do like this, uh, this attack, this is so cool, just shake the Wii remotes. And also, this is nice, I like having that, so... Uh... I thought you could stick to them. There you go. I thought you could stick with the roll for some reason. 
Not sure why I thought that, but... We won't be seeing Needle Buildy that much, I think, because I don't think it's that impressive compared to some of the other ones. It's still a nice ability to use and utilize as you please. Hello. Here's a big needle. And your butts. I'm sorry, Waddle Dees, I've been mean to your butts. But hey, that's life sometimes. Oh, I was trying to do without having to fly. Ooh, hello, I want you right away. Beam! Lash foes of a whip-like beam, hit and cycle, grab and capture, spin in midair for revolution, charge up and bam, wave beam, beam whip, cycle beam, beam blast, revolution beam, wave beam, and capture beam. All oh, very good abilities. Now I'm not—I don't believe wave beam was kept in triple deluxe. I could be wrong on that. Future me, um, if you have the time, please look that up. But I love revolution beam because it's just constant fire. It's just, and you stay in one place, you don't go down or at all. It's just it's just awesome. I mean, you have to keep rapidly hitting the button, but it is just a very fantastic thing to have. And it's like a sword ability, so it goes on his back. It's so cute. I love it. There's, a, there's an energy sphere that's hiding back there. It thinks it's smart. It isn't. I mean, it's inanimate, so I hope it's not thinking, because that would be a Megalore. You got more problems than just your ship falling apart. Your ship apparently is sentience, so uh, that's a bit of a problem. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. All right, min boss we got is Gigant Edge EX. You'll notice that there is a big theme of the EXs in this game because we fought Sphere Doomer uh, EX last time. Yeah, they like their EXs. All bosses are considered uh, EX of something or another. Still, they go down relatively fast, so it's not a big deal. Capture Beam. No, I don't think I can Capture Beam, big guy. Yes, just gone. Yay! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Friendly Arrow. Oh, we needed it. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Well, it would be. However, I'm pretty sure we can just cheat it. Hello, fire. You here to help us? Uh, no. Fine, then. Fine. We won't cheat it. Be that way, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. Just one second. Oh, what? Waddle D, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Waddle Dee, how's it going? How's it going, Waddle Dee? You're my good chum, my good chum you. You wanna chop that down for us? Thanks, Waddle Dee. And that is how you cheat this game. <laughs> Have another controller on hand and use it to get the things you need. It's... I know, it's kind of silly and it's kind of mean, but hey, it's a way to do it, so why the heck not? And besides, Beam's cool! He has a cool- you have a cool hat! Who doesn't like Beam? Beam haters. Alright, let's get to the top! Yeah! We're in the galaxy! And we get the long dance for that. And we won! Yay! Get 30 stars for getting to the very top. And that's kind of a nice thing, too, is that this multiplayer is very forgiving, so you can just have someone just be like, Hey, I'm gonna pop in. Hi! How's it going? I'm just gonna ride your head for a little bit. And you'll be like, yeah, yo, that's no problem. No problem, man. I got this. I got this. Oh, well, D, we have a problem. I want that. No, I don't want the box. I want the spark. Okay, thanks, Wild D. You're being good. You're being a good trooper. Electricity in your hands! Shake the Wii Remote to create a spark barrier. Zap foes from above with a lightning strike. Spark attack, charge power, spark arrow, spark laser, spark wave, spark barrier, thunderbolt, lightning strike, headbutt jump, face to- oh, that's co-op techniques. Face to face, piggyback, team attack. <laughs> 
And yeah, Spark is pretty broken in this game because you can just keep holding the Wii, you can just keep shaking the Wii remote and just have this eternal barrier in front of your face, which is just very nice. It's very nice. All right, well, D, I don't, oh. You can stay on me while I'm hovering like this? Oh. You wanna get back on me, Waldy? You wanna you wanna tip tag out? Oh, you wanna come with? Okay, Waldy's coming with us, guys. Waldy's coming with. Oh, okay, Waldy, I'm sorry, but I think you have to tag out here. See ya, buddy. Waldy's awesome. Alright, these cave sections can sometimes be problematic. I don't even know why. Wait, that can. That's a little, that's a l they, they, I think they nerfed it a little bit in, uh, Triple Deluxe, and probably for the better, because that's a little broken, if you don't mind me saying. I do like that it got this new ability to strike down from the heavens, essentially. Or strike up. Your your preference. Let's go down the ladder. Whee! And down here is an energy sphere. I mean, it was obvious, wasn't it? Okay, and this is a crazy room of craziness by people. Bouncy tie. No bouncing. No, no, no bouncing. Hmm, go on, Leaf. Yeah, we'll keep using Beam. <laughs> a spark? This isn't Beam, this is Spark. They both have, like, some kind of electricity thing. I guess it's like in Xenoblade X, you have, you have uh, beam damage and you have electricity damage. This is like the electricity and beam is the, well, the beam. <laughs> Let's get... Yee. Oh, there's something in there? Alright, well... Line this up just right. Wait, what? What did I... Oh. <laughs> it was for destroying those blocks. Guess what? We don't need it, because we have a spark, which is pretty awesome. Wait, can I get you? Nah, not from this range, unfortunately. A fun challenge to do with Kirby games is to just not use hover as much as possible. Sometimes it can be a bit annoying, but it is a bit, it is a bit fun to do. Oh, do you have been here? Oh, bye. <laughs> Tick. Oh. oh, you think you got me here? You want me to use beam, right? I think not. <laughs> oh, and I. Those poor shots, those. Those poor shots, those. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think I've ever been over Kirby names extensively. I kind of just call them out by what they are, but I think from here on out, I'll try to point out the names of the enemies if I know them. There's some enemies I don't know their names. Period. But that's a Scarfy, for instance. Scarfies have been around since I believe, yeah, I believe the first game. They first appeared in Bubbly Clouds, if I'm not mistaken. The fourth stage of the game. They are cute and adorable, and then they explode because they become creepy and rampant, and they want to kill you because they become Cyclops, Cyclopses. Uh, you know we have Waldies over there. You've already met the Waldies. You have a Waldie buddy that comes with us on this adventure, and that's Bronto Bert. He's gone. So bye, Bronto Bert. Hope you had a nice... A nice nice. I'm not sure nice what, but a nice something. Also, fun tip, if you are whatever, for, if you're lacking an ability, you can just use down and the jump button to do a little kick. Don't kick into a pit, though, because that would be bad. Hello? Wal Waldy? Waldy, what are you doing? You're just like... Okay, well... You are doing a silly, and as much as I like the sillies, it was a weird silly. These cannon guys are Shatzos. Um, they are quite, they are one of the more annoying enemies in Kirby games because they are invincible. The only way to kill a Shatzo is to basically get rid of the platform it's on. And sometimes you can't do that, so Shatzos can be problematic, to say the least. Ooh, Gold Waddle Deer. Technically, it's a, it's a monkey! It's a monkey! I never realized it has a little monkey tail. I thought it was like a gold wall deep, but that's not the case at all. It's a monkey. It's a little fast bugger. We need to beat it before it goes off the cliff. That is legit strategy. Legit strategy. Okay, well, because I was too busy shaking my Wii Remote for the for the spark. That was kind of my own fault there, but hey, it's easy. Peasy lemon squeezy. Ow, thanks, Cappy. Yeah, those are Cappies, by the way. That's a flaming... A flaming... Flamer? 
Flamer. Yeah, that guy's Flamer. And that is a Sword Knight, and Monkey died again. We'll be back for this Energy Sphere at some other point. How about that? No. We're not doing it. I tell you what, we're not doing it! We have uh, plenty of extra lives to burn through. Literally, because we're, we, were, we had fire ability. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of the more challenging aspects of Extra Mode, because getting some of these is a little harder because of how the enemies are kind of being a little bit of jerks. Nope. No. My key. Okay. Go by. Go away, Sword Knight. Go back to whatever you were doing in the anime with that character that didn't exist except for the anime. <laughs> Delayed Knight. And then he became an actual Kirby enemy. And then no one saw him again after uh, the remake of Superstar. So, that's sad. I'm sorry to bring up that sad point. <laughs> oh, didn't get quite into the galaxy. But... It's good enough, and we still get a cute little dance, as always, because dances are adorable, thanks Kirby! And I don't really know, have a quiet sense of our time, but... Eh! Let's do a stage four! Why the heck not? Because I like you a lot. There's four energy spheres in this one! Typically, if there's four energy spheres, that means there's going to be... Oh, I love this! Oh, with the rainbow and everything! Oh my gosh, I love this place. Okay, if there's if there's four energy spheres, it means that there is probably going to be a super ability area. So, cutter ability. We have not seen this one yet. So, cut through ropes with the blade of will aimed boomerang. Aim it up or down, or charge it up for a hyper boomerang. We got the cutter boomerang, the hyper boomerang, the cutter dash, sweeper cutter, cutter drop, cleaving cutter, and final cutter. And I just want to say, I love this music track so much. It is so good. It reminds me a lot. I think it's supposed to be like a sequel song to a song that was in Kirby's Dreamland 3. It's just so infectious and just, oh man, it's just, it's just so happy. You got, you just, you got to fall in love with the happiness, you know? It's just, oh, I just, I just want to get up and dance. You know, sandwich. I don't need a sandwich right now, but thank you. I love the, like, little spiral rainbow in the background, it's just, oh my gosh, this, this music, this, this game, it's so freaking cute and adorable, and that's gonna kill me, but it didn't kill that well D. Wanna know a fun little trick? Go right here, right around here, rainbow appears in the background, and if you go back, hello! Food. Stars. Yay! It is one of the fabled Hell Rooms! What's really cool about this is that it gives us access to a lot of abilities you would not get until much later in the game. So, that's awesome. And it's just a cool little Easter egg. This is the one Hell Room that I know about for sure. I am not sure. I believe there are two others in this game. I don't know where they are, unfortunately, so... Yeah! I know we just started the stage off, but... You know what? I'm gonna be a little weird, a little spontaneous. We're gonna end it off here in this Hell Room. And I'm gonna destroy the evidence that was a Hell Room, and we'll get back to it next time, because I'll showcase off all these abilities before I pick one before I'm moving on. So, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dream Land uh, Extra Mode. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. And if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Please have a great day. Kirby's uh, Return to Dream Line is available on the Wii, if you've not picked it up already. It's also on the eShop for the Wii U, which is pretty awesome, so you can always find a way to play it if you have not already. It is a fantastic game with a lot of cool details, a lot of cool awesomeness, and the Green Greens theme is adorable. So, thank you all very much for watching, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one! Until then, ciao 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 ciao!